A suspicious package outside the Q2 studios tonight ends with two small controlled explosions. Billings Police, the FBI and the police bomb squad shut down the block surrounding KTVQ communications while the bomb robot got up close to the plastic tub. Yes, several anxious hours here on North 32nd Street tonight. The entire incident ending just about 30 minutes ago after the police bomb squad detonated a suspicious plastic tub left on the doorstep of the station. Authorities telling Q2 this likely was a scare tactic meant to disrupt news operations. Q2 Zoe Zendora has been following the developments in and out of the building tonight and is standing by now with the very latest. Zoe. Thanks, Jay and Janelle. I just got in the studio after the all clear was given just around 30 minutes ago, like you said. Police are still clearing up debris from the east entrance of the building for making sure the possible threat had been eliminated. I was told after getting the call that po the police determined there was a level of concern about the package. That is when they blocked off 32nd Street North between 3rd Avenue North and 4th Avenue North and called in the bomb squad. I spoke with Sergeant Jason Gardner of the bomb squad just before the news started airing and he said that once they arrived on scene, they knew they needed to take action to ensure safety. We had our, uh, deployed one of our bomb squad robots and it was able to go up uh, and evaluate and look at the device. Uh, there were components on the outside of the device that looked like they could be uh, components that we would typically see consistent with an IED. Uh, so with that information and we had a nice shot that we were able to take with our, our uh, disruptors on our robot, uh, we fired a water shot at the device and, and disassembled it on site. You know, it's hard to tell exactly what the intentions was of whoever made it, but um, again, I, I think it was uh, made with the intention to raise alarm and to cause, you know, uh, people to, to feel uncomfortable. And given the, you know, recent events have happened nationwide, it, it's hard to tell if, if that's what motivated an individual to do something like that or not. Definitely causing a lot of anxiousness and officers are still just outside of studios of our studios going through debris and North 32nd has been reopened at this time. The investigation is still ongoing and the person who left the package is still at large. Jay and Janelle. All right. Thanks so much, Zoe. Breathing a sigh of relief yes, at this hour. Yes, we are.